So now <clears throat> we're taking apart, we're taking the top off of this really neat space efficient table. Yeah, this is a Jamie special. This is my invention because of uh, tight space and yet need for a lot of different kinds of surfaces to work on. Yeah, well the base is made out of, you know, one inch square tubing, it's just steel tubing, which you said is, is sort of like an overlooked material because it's so easy to work with. You can cut it and you can weld it very easy. It's got flat surfaces. Yeah, these tables are really sturdy. They're, uh, they're solid as could be. They don't creak. And this particular setup has a nested second piece, which is really simple. And all you have to do is pull that out and then, uh, and then you slide this thing out onto it. And, uh, and voila, you've got, you've got a, a double table. Um, so, uh, you know, you can turn it around and you get the surface to match. But, uh, so you use plywood underneath this, um, what's this material called again on the top? This is true pan. True pan, so you get the stiffness so it doesn't sag so much with the plywood. Yeah, and the, the true pan is just a, it's a pleasant surface to, to work on. You can, uh, you know, cut things. It, it's, it, it's a little softer than masonite, <laughs> and it's a, it's a more or less a replaceable surface. I usually use these for a while and then flip them. Oh, okay. And, uh, and then, then eventually I use it for wood sock and, and put a new, you know, we'll use it for building things and right. put a new surface on it and start it fresh. But the, the thing about this is like, you know, with the range of things that we do in this shop, I need open floor space, but there are times that you need a big table like this. Sure. So, I couldn't think of anything simpler than this. There's no funny hinges. There's no. It's a, It's something you've got either a really solid table that's uh, in in the the normal size that you want to use. But if you need to spread out, you can mm -hmm. do so in a few seconds. And I see you've scaled it to different sizes. Of course, the, these benches over here use the same principle. And then you've also got. Um, a lot of counters at different heights, which is one thing I kind of like, depending on what you're working on. Yeah, I find, uh, you know, because we are in general working so quickly, I don't have time to sit down. You know, where's the chair? And I, you know, it's yeah. like, why are you going to sit down? I'm going to be hopping up in a second to get another part or, or whatever. And so this type of thing is, it's where I don't have to bend over. Like this, I, I, if I want to get down, right down in the work, I'm like this. Yes, yeah. so I don't have to do that so much. Um, but there are times that uh, if you have a larger thing, you know, you you like you know you want to put your motorcycle up here and work on it, mm -hmm. or or something like that. You you want to you don't want it to you know up here. You want it to where you can work in the middle of it. Uh, we do a lot of sculpting, for example. A lot of times you want the normal table height for mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. um, so you need a variety, and uh, and yet you know, and yet you. You've, uh, again, with this nesting design, we have all the variety that I want, but I can get them out of the way. I don't have to stack them or do something weird like that. Well, geez, we appreciate the tip. This will be something fun to build. Well, Jamie, thanks a lot for your time. It was a great tour. We look forward to seeing more of the great projects you guys build and, uh, of course, more myths to bust. Thank you. Thanks for coming. Take care.